Are they meeting in order? Tuesday, March 16, 2021, 7 p.m. City of Summers and Regional Council meeting. Council Jorge Lozano, uh, Chief Personal Officer. Uh, reason for uh, coming up, over to speak to you is I just wanted to introduce to you our new IT help uh, person, uh, and she'll be uh, joining us also getting some training this uh, this evening. So, uh, so you'll see you'll see her around at meetings in City Hall. Her name is Alexis Cruz, and she's a former employee of Factor Sales and. Uh, Alexis, uh, welcome to the team. Thank you. So, I just wanted to nice to meet you. Thank you. Anybody else from the public? <clears throat> Moving on to consent agenda, there's two items. Item number one, approval of minutes, city council meeting of February 2nd, 2021. Item number two, approval to renew the facility use agreement between the Yuma Family YMCA and the city of Somerton for use of same food currently. The council member wishes to remove an item from consent agenda. A motion. Good morning to approve the minutes of state mayor. So a motion by Councilman Gonzalez. Second. Second by Vice Mayor Castillo. All those in favor? Opposed? Mm -hmm. To carry. Moving on to presentations. There's one item. <coughs> Presentation regarding possible future amendments to certain sections of the Summerton zoning ordinance regarding marijuana establishment. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, this is a brief update from Community Development Department. After the elections in 2020, um, the, the um, approval of the uh, recreational marijuana took effect, and I came to you in December to um, give you the information, give you an update, and also ask for direction as far as uh, what we need to do next after the, um, the uh, voters in Arizona voted to approve the uh, recreational use of the marijuana. So in December, I received direction. I went back to community development. And since then, we've been working, staff has been working with the, uh, the assistance of economic development, our legal <laughs> counsel, uh, we are working, putting together the uh, new wording that is going to include now the recreational use of the uh, marijuana. And tonight I would like to give you just a brief update on the uh, what we are going to be proposing. Um, beginning in April, we are going to be presenting these proposed changes to the Planning and Zoning Commission. And um, after that, we are going to be coming to City Council for um, approval of this text amendment to the zoning code. So this is just a very uh, brief update of what we are uh, proposing to make these amendments. Uh, right now we have just a couple of zoning districts where the medical marijuana is um, permitted under a conditional use permit. This is light industrial and general commercial only. Um, we have very restrictive uh, regulations as it is and we only have um, uses for medical marijuana, not for recreational. We will be proposing to include, continue the, uh, the um, medical marijuana, now include the recreational portion in light industrial, also in uh, general commercial. But we are also proposing to introduce 
the recreational portion of is used to the Main Street corridor and also the infill incentive overlay within the entertainment district. So that one, that's going to be the change as far as zoning districts. Next slide. Uh, some of the proposed amendments that we have currently, we have a very, um, as I mentioned, we have a very restrictive um, requirement for medical marijuana only. We don't have anything in the code for recreational use. So we are proposing to, one of the amendments is obviously to include the uh, recreational uh, portion of it. Now that it, it is part of the um, Arizona revised statutes, it's there. Is um, Title 36, which is under the um, the uh, public health and safety. So all the uh, requirements that the state will be um, requiring now are, are are found there, and we are reviewing those. And also we are proposing to have some changes into our current regulations. As I mentioned, uh, we have only medical the medical portion. We have a distance requirement that is a thousand feet. Uh, from residences, educational facilities, uh, places of worship, restaurants, and bars. So uh, that's part of the current regulations. Uh, the dispensary that, needs, that is proposed to be located in commercial, in general commercial needs to be also um, have a component as um, pharmacy, pharmaceutical research we are proposing to make a change on that one too. And also we have conditional use permits required for any zoning district that is right now um, permitted. So those are the current um, regulations that we have. Some of the current regulations we are proposing to um, include the uh, recreational portion of it. We are also proposing to reduce the distance that it's right now from a thousand feet to 300. Well, um, the uh, Arizona revised statute does not um, set a distance. Uh, it allows the municipalities to, to set the, our own regulations. So based on our conversations, our meetings with legal, with um, staff, what we are doing with the 300, we are following the liquor license requirement. Now that the, that the use will be recreational, it's somewhat um, comparable to the to a liquor license uh, um, process, if you will. So, being said, uh, the the liquor license is required to have a 300 uh, feet distance from these same uses. We are proposing to follow just that regulation. Any other questions? So that's part of. I'm sorry. For the uh, application fee, the twenty five hundred dollars. Based on what? How do you base that off? That uh, fee. Well, those fees that we set in 2015, 20 at the end of 2015, those were uh, proposed, and the direction at the time was. Um, that the council at the time directed staff to um, have a very restrictive uh, regulations for the medical marijuana back in 2010 when the medical marijuana was approved, not every single state ha uh, or every single city in the state have the, uh, the want of having a, a um, dispensary or a cultivation site here. So, Council at that time directed um, staff to, to provide a set of restrictive guidelines, if you will. So that's how we presented this and, and that's how it was approved. We're not basing it on uh, fees that the, um, the state has, if you will, because the state is allowing uh, municipalities to set our own business license fees or, or requirements for, for this particular use. So uh, right now we have two, 2,500 for the business license. We don't have a proposed change on the fee right now, but this is one of the items that are going to be open for discussion when we. For the liquor license, I'm not exactly sure. I'm sorry? 
Two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. No, this is for the local payment, right? Yeah, it's not. This is for the state. No, this is local. Okay. So we don't want to make it restricted. So it was passed by the resident. So majority intent of it. Very well. Um, the Arizona Department of Health Services for the license is twenty-five thousand on your phone. Yeah, but this is yeah. this is more for 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 our Yes, the two two thousand five hundred is is the city fee for them to submit the application. Um, that's aside from the uh, state regulations. Um, I don't. I found it. As far as it's the facts and all that, but I don't know. Oh, he's not able to comment. He was on. Mr. Rialpando. Well, then I was I was having a hard time trying to say anything, but. But yeah, I mean, I think we should have a, a work session to actually discuss this along with staff. It seems to me that this is a uh, staff is deciding what, what we're going to do, but uh, we we're the ones that represent our constituents. So we should be, be uh, providing input er in the early planning stages. Yeah, on Alpando, this was earlier. I don't know if it was a work session or an item, but it was was you know, it was discussed prior, and, and at least at that time, council was uh, we didn't know much of what regulations were going to come, and uh, the direction was since we don't have uh, regulations at this time, let's use the. Uh, the, the the liquor store parameters as it is and and at least uh you know to me is regardless of <clears throat> our feelings against it it was passed by the majority of the uh, taxpayers so at least we have a guide you know i equal it to alcohol it's just uh no it, it is a drug but it is it was it, it is allowed it's, it's legal so no, it it is, and I'm not, and I'm not opposing opposing permitting this because obviously, like you said, you know it's legal. But but for at least for me, I I think they they should they shouldn't be allowed on on Main Street. I wouldn't want to see a dispensary there on Main Street. And from if I heard correctly, it is going to be allowed on Main Street. Yes, it would. It would. And so that's what I'm saying. That maybe now is the time that that us as council we need to provide probably a little bit more more guidance. I remember the the vague conversation in the beginning, but like the mayor said, you know, we weren't too sure of what type of restrictions. But uh, I mean, if we have a little bit of more leeway and say of where we want where what areas it would be acceptable then then now maybe is a time for us to actually sit down and formulate a plan because i tell you right now there's a there's a lot of the older population that's not going to like a dispensary right on main street yeah and, and that, that's correct if you talk to constituents basically if you're over 40 then you're against it if you're under then you're for it so yeah that's a reality and yeah but yeah, we, we can we can uh, discuss it, but you know I'm 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 very liberal on this. And if it's on our Main Street and you allow a liquor store there, they're not going to be smoking it on Main Street. They're just going to be dispensing it. So. Yeah, and, and I kind of think I mean if our voters did you know uh, uh, voted on this, I mean I think uh, you know the, where it's located, I think it's it, it, I mean it passed. You know, if, if our constituents were against it, then it would, I mean, that message would have been sent, you know, at the polls. So to me, the location is just, you know, it, it, it really doesn't, really doesn't matter. But I was going to ask on the 2,500 non-refundable fee, um, you know, that we have here, what, what were neighboring cities um, charge? You mind San Luis, do we know? Uh, 
So we've just reduced it, right? To the, to well, now, now that they have introduced the recreational use as well, and uh, they reduced it from what I, I don't have the, the amount on, in my head, but they reduced it to, I believe it's $100, the, the fee to submit the application. Okay, so. But now it's basically, they're doing the same thing. They just did what, what we're doing right now. We are moving forward and adopting the uh, recreational use portion of it. So that's when they, they did. And basically San Luis, city of San Luis, uh, when the medical marijuana was approved, they did not approve it. They did not allow medical marijuana um, dispensaries within the city. It's now that they in, uh, included the recreational portion, that's when they allowed it. So every city is different, and that's something that the state um, allows us to do, um, set our own guidelines, and um, staff is following uh, council direction, and this is the early stages. We are here, we are not, we haven't started the um, adoption process yet, and that's why I come to you to give you the update. I have requested to the city manager a work session for with city council just to explain more in detail before we start the um, the uh, adoption process. So this is just an idea. This is a, a very rough draft of the uh, changes that we are going to be proposing based on what the state allows now, uh, which is different from what we had 10 years ago. And then I would like to have it as soon as possible because uh, we wanted to get ahead of the ball when this got accepted and it's taking too long. So hopefully we uh, get a work session, discuss it, and, and, and let's, get, let's, get, let's get this going because as it is, we're losing opportunity. There's not a lot of license going around and uh, we only have one area, one property that we can that, that, that we can uh, have a dispensary or anything, and, and it's not guaranteed that we're going to get any. You know, so but at least it's we don't put it as restrictive and. And uh, Mayor, if I may remind you that right now we only have um, regulations for medical marijuana. We don't have anything for recreational within the city. So that's that's the. Uh, what is the important portion for us to? So, Mayor and Council, I, we've heard a couple of times about the fee. Um, I'm not sure if people are thinking it's too restrictive or too high. As, as Ms. Watt has stated, every municipality is different. We're, we are allowed to regulate time, place, and manner. Some municipalities have passed an ordinance that they don't want it at all. Some uh, combination. <laughs> I mean, if you think about what we're trying to propose here with our entertainment district, where there are no restrictions, where we're, we're accepting on the Main Street corridor, the houses facing Main Street. I mean, this is this is a prime area. I don't really know of any other municipalities that are willing to allow this. So for for that prime area, uh, we consider that $2,500 fee to be to be a good fee, and we haven't ran into anybody any of the investors that are unwilling to pay for, for that. I feel just to keep, uh, keep up with San Luis, it's like, you know, they, they reduced it. So. Well, I, I'm not sure if San Luis is allowed it on their Main Street, Mayor. That's one of the yeah. comparisons. And, and this is... Well, I, I would like to see it reduced. Okay. We can. I have a question. Yeah. On the proposed statute of 2015, I see in the discussion here that it was just for the uh, for general commercial C2. So the amendment will be to, to the proposed amendment is to the light industrial uh, measure corridor in infield and city. So we, we should have those four options that we can work on, you know, and, uh, like a like, uh, vice mayor range, you know, it doesn't really matter, you know, that the, the voters, uh, the positions voted for this. But uh, it's something that, uh, and I agree with kind of going to be a fun well, but. It's just a matter of, you know, how to decide where exactly what you want to be, but that's part of the discussion. Um, Carmen, how, how many licenses or application fees were pulled um, for the facilities? For zoning verification. So zoning verification before uh, the state closed their, their submittal date. Uh, they were uh, the investors or developers were required to submit a zoning verification on a specific parcel within the city that stating that um, that parcel was suitable for for this type of use. So uh, we received a 
large number of calls from locals to out of state um, asking for the areas where the, the marijuana uh, use was permitted. Right now, we have very, very restrictive regulations for the medical marijuana, uh, but we were able to sign zoning verifications because they have a box that we marked saying that if they were selected by the state, they will still have to go through every city process that they were required in order to get their, their license. So we were able to sign uh, 12, 12 verifications. And uh, the, the last day we had a person that wanted to submit five verifications. <clears throat> Just that one person. It is out there. We know the use is, is um, it's coming to, to the city. Uh, we have a lot of, on a daily basis, we have a large number of calls. Um, just because of the, the Somerton location as a city, we are located in a very, very good um, area where we are close to San Luis and, and close to, to Yuma. So if we were fortunate to have a, a, a license from the state, we have a good area. And as soon as council adopts these new regulations, we are going to be in a much better position to, to, um, to land or approve a license here within the city. So right now, like I said, this is just an update. We are, I'm not asking for motion. I'm not asking for, for approval at, at this time, but we have a time frame that we have put together based on the, the, the direction from council the last time that I was here. And the idea is to present it to the Planning and Zoning Commission in April, uh, April 19th. Okay. Um, the work session, so also. Yes, we can have a work session here this month and possibly um, the plan zoning commission earlier than April 19th. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. Okay, so. I think the same as the mayor and I, you know, this is sad. Uh, we're missing an opportunity. And I think, unfortunately, you know, people have this, uh, it's past and it's uh, serving the community and something, you know, they may not like it. Mayor, I said, 40 under, I'm 50, and I go to yes, because it's a reality. Even though <laughs> people are going to still be doing it legally, so I'd rather do it for another pharmaceutical. I do see the need at the pharmaceutical part. I see those patients dying from cancer or struggling with pain, and it, you know, so it's it's a, it's a need. And, and if we can provide it to our constituents, to our citizens, why not? And I do feel the same. Main Street will be the perfect because if we do them all the way to the mess or something, you know, some people don't have the access to go out there and, you know, this is a prime <laughs> opportunity for us to think and I do feel that we have to accelerate before San Luis or you know, yeah. So I don't feel, I'm more Just, to change is like, you see, us over 40, most of us don't have tattoos. Now all the kids have it. it's just a, a change of times and it's unfortunately the different not fortunately well unfortunately different world of now is like oh, yeah. I have no tattoos of I was younger bro. Mayor Council if you will right now the, the the state the way they're giving the licenses is two per county and it's based on population. So Yuma County and itself it's only gonna receive two <clears throat> there's a change in legislation we might have more. At this point, only two for Yuma County in its entirety. We're part of Yuma County, so it, 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 we, there's one that was already given, so it's one that's left, one license for Yuma County. So. And we also have all the uh, uh, the Arizona Revised Statutes regulations to fall back on, too, in addition to the city regulations. So um, just following direction, and um, as soon as... So this is something that you should go to plan <laughs> zoning? Yes. yes, because it's a text amendment to the zoning ordinance. So we need to do that. And then we need to come back to you with the, um, the ordinance, first reading, second reading, and then it becomes effective 30 days after the second reading. So it's, it's a uh, lengthy process. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop you there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Who business? Is this the last time we're going to see this item? Or? <laughs> How many times have we seen this item? <laughs> we need to read it, Mayor. That's, that's the law. I don't know who would. 
The President of Council will action to approve second reading by title only of ordinance number 20. 21001, an ordinance of the city of Somerton relating to the transaction bill and tax adopting the 2012-2014 amendments to the tax code of the city of Somerton by reference establishing effective dates providing for several civility and providing penalties for violations. Uh, Mayor Council, this is the second reading of, of this ordinance. The process was long, as you stated. We did a uh, public hearing on this. We declared documents to be public records with a resolution. We did a first reading. Uh, this is now the, the second reading by title only. This is the last time you'll see it. It'll um, be reported to the state within 10 days, and that will effectively amend our tax code to be current, and uh, like all the other jurisdictions in Arizona. A motion? Second. The questions, there's any questions? Questions? Is there a motion to approve second reading by title only of ordinance number 2021 okay. A motion by Councilman Galindo. Okay. Second by Councilman Gonzalez. All those in favor? Any, any opposed? Thank you. In order, ordinance number 2021-001. An ordinance of the City of Somerton, Arizona, relating to the transaction privilege tax, adopting the 2012 through 2014 amendments to the tax code of the City of Somerton by reference, establishing effective dates, providing for severability, and providing penalties for violations. Another, another motion to approve. The motion to approve ordinance number 2021 oh, okay. motion by Councilman Galindo. Second by Councilwoman Garcia. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Moving on to new business. Discussion of possible action to approve a request for proposals for state sound and lighting for the 4th of July event. Good evening, Mayor, Council, Lisa Garcia. Special Event Coordinator. Um, this item on the agenda is to request approval to post RFP for stage sound and lighting services for 4th of July event. As you all know, due to COVID-19, this event did not take place in 2020. The city hopes to celebrate this year's event with a few restrictions and modifications while encouraging the wearing of masks and proper social distancing when possible. The schedule of proposed activities for this RFP is as follows. March 17, we would post the RFP. The deadline would be April 9 of 2021. The selection of the company will be April 20 of 21. The event will be at Council Park on Sunday, July 4th from 7 p.m. to midnight. Any questions, comments? No, we need to ask Lisa questions. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice to meet my first time. I hope we can carry this event. I think people are ready to go back to social distance. Not social distance, but I think, you know, be part of one another. It will be great. We are currently um, playing it by ear. We do have a plan A and a plan B. Plan A would be having a regular event and everybody be responsible enough to, to practice what they've learned for this awful year. Um, plan B would be if, if, it, if it has to be more modified, we would have squares um, and have a format in the park as a parking lot and people could be in every other square. Depending on the size of the square, we could have six to 10 people per square. And uh, vendors would be on the other side of the, of the park. The questions want to be the economic development square dancing with the <laughs> Is there a motion? A motion by Councilman Gonzalez. Second by Councilman Galindo. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Okay, now to uh, council to wait for us. Item number two, discussion and possible action on an application of extension of premises patio permit to the Arizona Department of Liquor License and Control to authorize A5350 Bar and Grill to sell alcohol on April 16, 2021 during the A5350 off-road event. Mayor and Council, A5350, um, this item on the agenda is to allow business owners from A5350 Bar and Grill to host an off-road car show event at the business location located at 346 West Main Street in Summerton, Arizona. The intent is to use a parking lot located on the north of the Summerton Court in Sports Park. All participating off-road vehicles will be on display at the parking lot area. The proposed date and time is April 16, 2021 from 6 p.m. to midnight. Questions or comments? On the um, forms that we have for um, for the um, event, there is a little modification um, just to extend um, the area of the parking lot. They're going to need both parking lots, not just the one. So that would be the only modification that I would have to do before sending it out for the liquid. Questions, comments? Okay, thank you. Make a motion to approve the uh, <clears throat> permit to the state. Motion by Councilman Gonzalez. Second by Councilwoman Garcia. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Item number three, discussion of possible action to approve a memorandum of understanding between Yuma County Public Health Services District, the City of Somerton, for an early warning detection system for determining the transmission and disease prevalence of COVID-19 in the City of Somerton. Mayor Council, I City Attorney, so in front of you, you have a uh, proposed memorandum of understanding, and this is for the purpose of, of detecting uh, COVID in wastewater, which is being used as an early warning detection system for, to determine the transmission and disease prevalence of COVID here in the city of Summerton. Summerton so localized wastewater surveillance from sampling locations throughout Yuma County and target sampling for populations can provide um, information to our community partners with early warning data. Um, this practice, uh, they've already started checking some of our uh, water and our, we're, they're using some of our uh, uh, list stations to uh, conduct the testing. Um, and so this memorandum just uh, puts into writing some of the uh, obligations by both parties. Uh, the uh, another collaborative partner is the University of Arizona, who is is involved in this project as well. It's a program, and it's it doesn't cost the city anything. I think it's it's a really good uh, idea and a, and a way to combat uh, COVID in the community. It's an important part that doesn't cost anything. Any questions, comments? Is there a motion to approve it? you? Um, motion by Councilwoman Garcia. Second. Second by Councilman Gonzalez. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Item number four, discussion of possible action to approve resolution number 2020-003, a resolution of mayor and council of city of Somerton approving the form and authorizing the execution and delivery of a loan agreement with the water infrastructure Finance Authority of Arizona from the Clean Water Revolving Fund, delegating the determination of certain matters related thereto. The manager, public works director, and the finance director of the city, providing for the transfer of certain monies and making certain covenants and agreements with respect thereto, authorizing the taking of all other actions necessary to consummation and <coughs> transaction contemplation by such loan agreement and this resolution and declaring an emergency. Is this, is this the resolution or just the <laughs> Good evening, Mayor, 
Vice Mayor, Council Member Zarina Gallegos, Finance Director. Um, this is the uh, the resolution that will allow us to um, go forth and execute the loan agreement with WIFA to fund the um, the uh, the lift station and uh, water main. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not the water main, the sewer main and the gravity line. This is a project that is uh, necessary in order for the high school and, and all that commercial area south of that to connect. Hello? Any, any questions, comments? No, this, is there a motion? Somewhere. A motion by Councilman Gonzalez. Second. Second by Vice Mayor Castillo, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. We're gonna, thank you. Uh, we're gonna skip a uh, summary of current events and adjourn the meeting and head to the uh, council part. Yes, for the remembrance event. I have a list of concerns. Seven forty meetings adjourned. No, no, no.